We are looking for chameleons. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I Welcome to Kites and Crayons episode 4. We'd like to start off by thanking you for the great support and feedback on the first three episodes. We're having so much fun learning about these animals and sharing the experiences with you. Last week we featured the world's largest reptile, the crocodile. This week we're looking at a much smaller one. This little reptile is red. No, it's blue. No, it's black. I thought it was green. Well, one thing we do know, it's a chameleon. Welcome to this week's Science Lab. <laughs> In the spirit of chameleons, we will be doing two color changing experiments. The first being the chemical chameleon. Do not try this at home without adult supervision. <laughs> to perform this experiment, we added half a teaspoon of sodium hydroxide, commonly known as caustic soda, to one of the glasses as well as half a teaspoon of table sugar. To this we added lukewarm water and gave it a good stir to ensure that it properly dissolved. To the other glass, we added a few grains of potassium permanganate and mixed this with lukewarm water as well. Be sure not to add too much of the potassium permanganate. Then add the contents of the first glass to the second and watch the magic happen as the color turns from purple to blue, a dark green and then a bit lighter. This truly is a chemical chameleon just changing its colors as it wishes. It then changes its color to a dark brown, lighter brown, and lastly, we end this experiment off with a light yellow. What a fantastic representation of how colors can change in nature, just as with the wonderful chameleon. Today we are making chameleon flowers. To do this experiment at home, add food coloring in glasses of water. Add any white flowers to the different glasses. We use roses. The only thing you have to do next is watch the color change. The next morning we were so excited. We could not wait to see what it looked like. We ran up the stairs in our pajamas. Hope you enjoyed the experiment. We are looking for chameleons. The chameleons is in the trees. They don't really enjoy the smell of lollipops, Liam, but here are five fun facts about chameleons. Number one. Most people think chameleons change their color based on their surroundings, like camouflage. However, this isn't true. Chameleons actually change their color according to their mood, changes in light or temperature, or the humidity of the environment. 
Number two. They've got a distinctive jerky walk. They are known to sway back and forth while walking. This mimics the way leaves move in a breeze, reducing the chance of predators seeing them as they move. Their toes are grouped together in opposing bunches like salad tongs. These feet allow chameleons to grip onto rough or narrow branches with ease. Number three. Chameleons can curl their tails around twigs, helping them to balance and hold on. Some chameleons can even regrow their tails like lizards. Chameleons have extremely powerful tongues. Excluding their tail, some chameleons' tongues can be twice the length of their body. Chameleons' tongues are super quick and their spit is very sticky. This means they can grab their prey within fractions of a second, making it impossible to get away. Number 5 Their eyes can swivel around in two different directions simultaneously. This allows chameleons to see predators coming from behind them. Finding a chameleon is hard work and it's so easy to lose focus with all these sticks and rocks lying around. But at last we were rewarded for our patience. This week's colourful critter proved harder to find than the elephants and the crocodiles of prior episodes. Not just because of their ability to change colour, but because they are so scarce, with many being threatened. We were fortunate enough to be notified about two different chameleons spotted at homes in Omanus, and the children could not be more delighted. As we looked on in awe, we realised that these little critters deserve to be marvelled at and protected and we devote M. L. Squire's poem, Ode to the Chameleon, to our two little friends we were fortunate enough to meet. The chameleon is one in a million. This colorful lizard is a most versatile wizard, with a tongue of great span and a head that can spin, with feet that can adhere to what is far and near. The chameleon is one in a million. A boy is truth with dirt on its face, beauty with a cut on its finger, wisdom with bubblegum in its hair, and the hope of the future with a frog in its pocket. Join us as we get creative with these boys. So today we'll be making colorful chameleons. These are perfect for any kid's party. What you'll need is a, po um, a party whistle, some googly eyes, coloured paper cut into these chameleon head shapes, glue and a black marker. Yes, okay, so let's begin. Did you know, recently there was an experiment. They found out that smaller chameleons have faster tongues. That is so interesting. Small chameleons can fire their tongues more rapidly, more powerfully than their bigger cousins.
Thanks for joining us this week. Make sure to hit that subscribe button with the speed of a chameleon's tongue. And stay tuned for more adventures. Thank you.